is your day? Yes, I hope you all are having a great day, right? Yes, so before starting today's class, let's see today's date and day. So what is today's date? Today's date is 7th September 2021 and the day is Tuesday. Okay, students, so today's class is not about any topic at all. Today is a revision class for you. Why? Because next week you will be having a favorite test. Okay, so today it is a revision class. So, what are the chapters for your everyone test? See, the chapters are shapes, patterns, numbers. Okay, so please, please go through your workbook from the page number 1 to page number 1 to 22. Remember the page number that is 1 to 22. Please write, write the questions and even the answer practice in your rough book thoroughly in these three chapters. Okay. From the from this workbook only they are they are giving the questions for FA1 test. Okay. So please be thorough with your workbook. See, please open the page number first. In page number one, see the multiple choice question. A straight line that joins the opposite vertices of a closed figure is called as. So what is the straight line that joins the opposite vertices? It is a diagonal. Yes, then next page. Page number 2, fill in the blanks. A square and a rectangle have dash, dash vertices. How many vertices a square and a rectangle have? It has 4 vertices. A circle has dash vertices. Does a circle have vertices? No, 0 vertices. Then 11th question. How many vertices does a triangle have? How many vertices a triangle have? It has three vertices. Then, 13th question. Complete the following table. See, they have given a shape. You have to name the vertices. See, for example, it is a rectangle shape. They have named as T, Q, R, R, S. So, can you tell me the vertices in this? Yes, what are the vertices? It is the point where two lines meet right yes so here the vertices is p q r yes so the vertices are p q r yes then what about the diagonals yes can tell me diagonals how many diagonals are there what is diagonals a line connecting two opposite vertices so here see p and r is opposite q and s is opposite right so how many diagonals there are two diagonals. So what are they? P, R, C, this line. From here to here one, Q, S. So two diagonals. So they may ask question like this also. See students, before reading this, see the pattern of your question paper. You will be having a 20 marks question paper to write and 5 marks oral. So totally you will be having 25 marks for your test. See, the pattern will be, first you will be having to choose the correct answer. That is one mark each you will be having. Then fill the blanks also one mark each. Then answer the following you will be having one mark questions. Then solve the following two marks each. Then answer the following three marks each. Then answer any one of the following. Here they will give two question, four marks question. You can answer any one in that. Okay, this is the pattern. Then see the page number 17. Sorry, page number 3, 17 question. Complete the following table. See, they have given a 20 rupees note. You have to find the vertices, number of vertices. How many vertices a note has? Four vertices. See, it is the shape of a rectangle, right? Yes, then how many diagonals it will be having? It will be having two diagonals. Then, then open the next chapter, patterns. In patterns, see the page number 8, fourth question. Which of the following pattern shows the alternate circle and triangle? So which is that answer? Which is that pattern found using circle and triangle? It is option A. Then sixth one. Which number will come next in the pattern 4, 10, 16, 22? See the pattern they have given us. 4, 10, 16, 22. What will be the next number in this pattern? See here. First you have to find the difference between first two numbers. See the difference it is 6. Here it is for 10 and 16 it is 6. From 16 to 22 is 6. See the difference between all the two numbers is 6 only. Now what will be the next number? How will you find the next number? By adding 6 to 22. That is 22 plus 6 is 28. So the next number. 
number in the pattern is 28. So in this format only they will ask the questions. Okay, you have to go through your workbook. Today only you have to sit and practice. Okay, then see next question. Twentieth question. What is tiling? Where do we see tiling? Do we see tiling patterns in parking areas? What is tiling? Yes, you have seen tiles in your home, right? In the floors. Yes, that process is called a tiling. That is covering a flat surface with a tile without any gap is called as tiling. So where do we see this tiling? We see tiles tiling in floors, walls. So do we see tiling in parking areas? Yes, in parking areas also. Tiling is used. Then see the twenty-second question. Form a pattern by following the given rule. See, they will ask like this. That is, they will give a rule. Using that rule, you have to form a pattern. See, for example, begin with two.